Hey guys, welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another product review. Today, we're gonna to be reviewing the JBL Eon One compact all-in-one rechargeable PA system. It's right here behind me. I've had it for a few days now and I've been uh, really excited to open it up and just test this thing out. Actually, I'm gonna test it out tomorrow at a wedding, at a ceremony. So uh, I'm gonna give you my honest opinion after I do the actual gig and test it out and let you know how it performed. But right now, we're gonna do an unboxing and I'm gonna show you uh, some of the features and um, exactly how it works and why I bought the system. Now before we go on with the review, I'd like to ask you guys a big, big favor and please hit that like button down below. It helps this video get seen by a lot of other people. So if you can do that, it would be amazing. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. There's gonna be a lot more reviews, gig vlogs, DJ tips, and a whole bunch more stuff DJ related. So if you like what you see so far, please make sure you subscribe and like the video. Okay, so the reason I bought the JBL Eon One Compact is because I wanted to get rid of all the wires just in case there were no sockets around, primarily for ceremonies. So it's a rechargeable battery. Uh, it only takes two hours to fully charge and uh, it's supposed to last for 12 hours at moderate volumes and at max volumes supposed to last for six hours. I don't know how true that is or how that will hold up. It also has Bluetooth capacity so I can Bluetooth it with my iPad or my cell phone so no wires going in and out from the actual main system. I wanted to stay compact and just for convenience sake, you know what I mean? Yeah, so this yeah. system is made for DJs, presenters, fitness instructors, bands, uh, for their mains, PAs, monitors, for street performers, for the audiophile who just loves to listen to music. And it's only 17.5 pounds, so you can just pretty much lug it anywhere. It's a compact footprint, but professional little system. So that's enough of me yapping now. We're gonna get to the unboxing and I'm gonna show you the actual system, how it looks and uh, the features on it. All right, let's get to it. All right, here we go. This is exciting stuff. Love the smell of new electronics. I do. Love it. All right. Perfect. Let's move all this stuff out. Out of the way. All right. Um, so it's a nice uh, plastic finish on the back here. Here's the section for the battery. You can uh, replace it if it's dead. Take it out like that, and um, you have access to the battery. There you go. There, see, not too bad. So at least you can um, replace the battery. You just have to, to make sure you protect the actual system. You can use this for years and years to come. So. Um, yeah, nice little system. Has a metal grill, and uh, I know you can move this sideways because you can pretty much use this as a as a monitor now, and you can you can move the actual JBL side, which is pretty cool. Um, yeah, it has a nice ergonomic uh, handle here at the top, and then right here there's a slot that you can put your phone or tablet and they really thought about being uh, compact. You can use this for karaoke as well. Um, let's see, uh, they have master volume for channels, a mic line input uh, with a TRS XLR combo jacks, uh, line out. I know they have a pass-through 
uh, so you can link another system. They also have uh, two USBs so you can charge your devices like a phone or a tablet or anything small. Of course, they have uh, reverb, bass and treble here. You can EQ it from here, but it also has the app. Uh, so it's app controlled and you can actually tweak it to your liking. So that's really, really cool. And then another plus of this system that other systems doesn't have at all. Right? You can tweak it to however you want it. So if you're really, really nitpicky about sound and you want something to sound the way you want it, this is the system for you. Right out of the box, it has the legendary JBL sound, but you know it can always be tweaked, add a little bit more bass or whatever. Looks pretty good. So tomorrow, I'm gonna be I'm using this live for my wedding. At the ceremony, we're gonna be checking out how it performs. We're gonna see how loud it gets, how it sounds, if it's clear or not, how the mic sounds through it, how the music sounds, if we have to EQ it or anything. I'm excited to try it out and uh, give you guys my honest review after I do the game. We'll see you guys tomorrow. All right guys, so here's the JBL Eon One Compact. As you can see, it's wireless. The only wire I have is the um, receiver for the microphone, the handheld microphone that's over there. So, yeah, it gets pretty loud too. Checked it out, it's pretty good. Um, I didn't know that you can control everything through the app. So, I'm connected to the iPad and I'm connected to the JBL app, and you can actually with the volumes for the mic and hear the music as well so this is awesome so it's all compact you can see no wires whatsoever the mic works and uh, yeah so I'm excited to to show you guys some footage I'm gonna take footage of the actual ceremony and make sure that everything goes well I'm gonna test it out so so far so good it, this thing can get pretty pretty loud um, yeah, we were supposed to have the ceremony outside, but now we're having it inside. So far, it's so good. Just playing some jazz music right now, and uh, then I let the um, guests come in to sit down and get ready for the ceremony. All right, guys? So, yeah, that's it. We'll see you guys in a bit. guys so there you have it how do you think the JBL Eon one performed uh, for the ceremony keep in mind it was only 50% loudness so it could have got a lot louder but I think it did really really well so a couple of things I failed to mention before on channel one of the JBL Eon um, there is a phantom power so just in case you're gonna use a condenser microphone you can also connect up to four of these units simultaneously through Bluetooth so that's pretty amazing so along with the XLR TRS combo jacks that you can plug your devices and microphones into it also has an eighth inch aux input and also another eighth inch aux input so you can plug in your headphones and monitor the sound before it comes out of your speaker it also has a quarter inch high z guitar input specifically made for instruments something you don't normally see on speakers of this class another feature that is exclusive to the jbl eon one is that it has a ducking feature which when engaged will lower the music volume when it detects your voice so that your voice can be heard loud and clear. So obviously there are a lot of good things about this speaker. You've heard all the pros, but I have a couple of qualms about the speaker as well. So first off, I like how they have those rotary knobs 
and how you can um, raise the volumes and they turn green when they're raising but in direct sunlight or when it's really sunny you're not going to be able to see the green at all so i didn't like how that was set up i would have liked it a little more solid so you can see where you're at volume wise also i didn't like how you have to toggle through this channel select to get to the channel that you want to change right if you need to EQ a certain channel to go to channel four you got to go through channel one first two three and then four and so I kind of didn't like how that was set up as well. I'd like to get to the channel right away, just in case you needed to. The last thing, this is not really a deal breaker for me, but I would have liked it if it had a, a handle here on the side. It has a handle on the top, but to make it easier to put on a speaker stand, I would have liked to have seen a small maybe handle just on the side, but you know, I'm just being nitpicky right now. Um, other than that, it's it's an amazing speaker uh, and it's ideal for us performers and DJs alike. So I can't complain. <laughs> I can't complain at all. Okay guys, so that was my review and live testing of the JBL Eon One Compact. Um, let me know if you guys like this speaker as much as I love it. Let me know down in the comments if you guys have it or if you guys are planning to get it now or if you guys have the Bose S1 Pro which is the direct competition of the speaker but honestly I think this has a little more features than the S1 Pro and I'm a little biased as well. Um, and if you haven't already please make sure to like this video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, there'll be a lot more gear reviews, gig vlogs, DJ tips, a uh, whole bunch of DJ related stuff coming in the future. So we'll be back at it and we'll see you guys really, really soon. All right, this is DJ9 signing off.